that whole process of galaxies forming and evolving over 13 plus billion years, uh, we've learned a lot about that, but we're really missing a key piece of the puzzle, which is how galaxies got their start. So that's the piece that we haven't seen yet, and that's the piece the James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to see for the very first time. So the first stars and galaxies are really the big mystery for us. We don't know how that happened, we don't know when it happened, and we have a pretty good idea that they were very much larger than the sun, and that they would burn out in a tremendous burst of glory in just a few million years, which is really very short. But they would also prepare the way for further generations of stars like the sun to be formed. So those first stars would produce the chemical elements of life, carbon and oxygen and nitrogen and iron and sulfur and calcium and all the things that we're made of, would have been produced in those first generations of stars that then explode and liberate the material back out into space. So the next generation of stars could form with planets with solid bodies and possibly have life.